Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing a very easy and quick chicken biryani recipe. If you like my video, please hit that like and share button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The recipe shared here is the simple one pot delicious chicken biryani. Let's see the ingredients list. For the chicken biryani you need basmati rice. I am using the India Gate. I am taking 3 cups. Rinse basmati rice thrice and soak for 30 minutes. Drain to a colander after 30 minutes. Chicken pieces. I am taking 1 kg of chicken. 3 big onions chopped finely. Cashew nuts 1 fourth cup. Raisins 1 fourth cup. Fennel seeds 1 teaspoon. Pepper 1 fourth teaspoon. Cumin seeds 1 and half teaspoon. Garlic pots 4. Green chilli 5. Piece of ginger. Bunch of coriander leaves. Few mint leaves. Now take a mixie jar, for this you have to add chopped onions, add the chopped coriander leaves, mint leaves, cashew nuts, raisins, green chilli, cumin seeds, fennel seeds, whole pepper, garlic pots ginger now also add cinnamon stick star anise cardamom 5 add some cloves black cardamom 2 turmeric powder so cover it and grind well and make a thick paste this is how it looks like Keep the ground masala aside. Also, preserve masala water. Now take a thick pot in the pan. Add some ghee. Once it is heated, add one big chopped onion and fry it until it becomes golden brown. Once it is fried well, take it out and keep separately. Now add the cashew nuts and fry. When it is fried, add the raisins and fry again. Keep it separately once it is fried. Now it's time to add the ground masala. Fry it well for 3 to 5 minutes until the raw smell goes off. The curry or gravy for the biryani should have a medium to medium thick consistency. It should not be watery as this will lead to the rice becoming mushy or very soft after the cooking. Once it's fried, add the chicken pieces. Mix everything well. Add 
add some salt and retain masala water. Cover and let it cook for next 10 to 15 minutes. At the same time, take a big vessel to cook the rice. Add the water and keep it for boiling. Add the rice to water only after the water has come to a rolling boil. Add the spices and bay leaf. There are people who do not like the spices while eating the biryani. So just tie these spices into a nice muslin cloth and drop it into the water. Once the rice is cooked, just remove the muslin bag. Also add some oil and salt. Though adding oil is not mandatory, but I would highly recommend. Oil helps in keeping the grains separate. Check after 7 to 8 minutes. As soon as the rice is 80% cooked, immediately drain the water. Chicken is also well cooked. Squeeze a lime juice over the cooked chicken masala. Take a separate deep bottom pan. Brush some ghee at the bottom. Now start adding the rice and the chicken masala in layers. Once you are finally done with adding the rice and chicken masala, on the top add the fried onions. Then add the fried cashew nuts and fried raisins. Now finally the layering is done. So you need to further cook 20%. So the pan needs to be covered and placed on a tawa. And you should keep it on a very slow flame. So that the heat is distributed evenly and don't burn the lower layer. You can apply chapati dough around the pot and cover and cook the rice on very slow flame for 10-15 to 15 minutes. I'm just keeping heavy weight on my vessel. Mix the chicken biryani together and then transfer to a serving bowl. Enjoy the chicken biryani with raita. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.